From Hollywood, the dating capital of the world, it's The Dating Game. And now, the star of our show, Chuck Woolery. Oh, thank you, Kramer. Thanks, everybody. Welcome. Nice to have you here. Thank you over here. Welcome to The Dating Game. And we have three eligible bachelors ready to compete for a date with today's first lucky lady. So let's not keep them waiting any longer, and here they are. Bachelor number one, he's from Santa Monica, California. He collects antique cars. Uh, he won on the dating game 30 years ago and is hoping to make it two for two. Give a big hello to Bart Williams. Hey, Bart. Bachelor number two is a business consultant from Aurora, Illinois. He loves fooling around on the computer, sends love poems to women on the internet. Meet Al Conahan. Hey, Al. Bachelor number three is an actor from Ray, Colorado. You might recognize, recognize him as captain of the guards in the hit film Con Air. Say hello to Steve Easton. Hey, Steve. Now let's meet the woman who's going to choose one of these guys for her date. To prevent her from hearing anything about these guys, we've kept her isolated backstage. Let me tell you about her. She's a mortgage broker, and she's a model. She's from Wichita, Kansas, and enjoys art galleries and antique hunting. She says that a man has to be creative, not rich, to win her heart. So let's welcome Connie Young. Connie! Hi, Connie. How are you? Hi, nice to see you. So, uh... It doesn't matter whether a guy's rich or not. No, no. Uh, well, you need to have a few bucks in the bank. But um, my experience is that uh, a large bank account does not necessarily uh, is not necessarily attached to a large heart. You... That's one way to yeah. put it. That's probably true. <laughs> too, yeah. Well, Connie, there are three guys with great big hearts over there that I know want to say hello to you. So okay. have a seat right great. over here. Thank you. And bachelor number one, say hello to Connie. Hello, Connie. <laughs> <laughs> hello. <laughs> Bachelor number two, say hello to Connie. Hello, Connie. What a pretty name. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And Bachelor number three. Connie, I don't speak Italian, but let me try this. Uh, Buonasera, bellissima signorina. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> don't you always love a guy who says, I don't speak the language, however, contested even if I'm the one you do <laughs> you have all the questions. One of these guys has the right answer. Okay, so great. let's play the dating game. All right, Bachelor number one. I'm at the movies with bachelor number three, and he goes to get popcorn. What do you whisper in my ear to convince me to sit with you instead? Well, I'd say, Connie, uh, well, this guy is uh, in the lobby getting popcorn. Let's you and I go up to the balcony, because I have my own popcorn maker, and uh, we can see the show much better from up there. Oh, OK, OK, all right. Bachelor number three, what would you whisper in my ear? Oh, I would say, uh, I didn't know your date has gotten out of prison. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then I would say, it's awfully dark in here, Connie, but I actually look like Antonio Banderas. <laughs> <laughs> I personally always equate popcorn in prison. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bachelor number two, I'm looking for a guy who knows what commitment is. What's your definition of commitment? Well, commitment defined to me um, requires that I pledge my love to the one who pledges her love to me in a way that would give her respect and adoration as if she were the only woman on the planet among two billion other men. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, okay, bachelor number one, if you traveled back in time to see Lady Godiva ride naked on her horse, what would you most likely yell at her? Hey, lady, where'd you get that wrinkled outfit? <laughs> <laughs> Must have been an older Lady Godiva. <laughs> Bachelor number three, what would you yell at her? Oh, I would say, uh, Lady Godiva, it must be uncomfortable riding bareback. Please allow me to be your saddle. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Bachelor number two, lean over and sniff bachelor number one and tell me what his <laughs> cologne should be named. Far, far away. <laughs> <laughs> um, bachelor number 
one, lean over and tell me what bachelor number two's cologne should be named. That would be uh, Eau de Dachshund. <laughs> okay, bachelor number two. They say the best way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Well, I want to know what route you'd take to get to my heart. I'd look deep into your eyes until I could find my way to your soul. I'd make love to your soul until all eternity. Whoa. <laughs> okay, bachelor number one. 10,000 years from now, archaeologists dig up your body from a tar pit. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me just a minute. <laughs> just a second here. Are you kidding? Yep, yep, yep. You're right, okay. That's what it said. <laughs> uh, Gotta what, answer it. <laughs> what part of your physique impresses them the most? <laughs> well, that would have to be my big oversized skull. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm Swedish. <laughs> I'm gonna look at me. Okay. <laughs> Bachelor number three, what part of your physique would impress them the most? There's no way to answer this question without sounding self-possessed, but <laughs> I'd have to probably say it'd be uh, my right arm from playing a lot of tournament tennis, and I can't talk about my other prominent feature because it is PG-rated, I understand. So. Whoa! <laughs> Thank you for not even alluding to that. <laughs> okay, bachelor number two, I grew up in Wichita, Kansas, so I just love country music. Croon me a tune about why I should pick you. With you by my side, I'd love you and never roam. And I'd love you until the cows come home. <laughs> until the cows come home. Till the cows come home. I love you till the cows come home. Oh. <laughs> All right, that means that we're out of time, so Connie, the pressure's on you. You're going to have to make your choice, and while she's doing that, we'll take a short break, come right back at you right after this. Stay with us. <laughs> I'm waiting. I can't wait to see which one of these guys you choose. Is it going to be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? Which one will it be? Well, it was really hard. I bet. It was hard, but I picked bachelor number two. Number two. Yes. All right. Yeah. Well, okay. That's interesting. Now, uh, of all those guys, why did he? Uh, why did he stand out in your mind? Um, he his answers were very creative. <laughs> well, before we meet him, let me introduce you to the other two gentlemen. Right. Bachelor number one won the dating game 30 years ago. He was kind of hoping oh. to uh, do that again. <laughs> Say hello to Bart Williams. Hey, Bart. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> well, how does it look 30 years later, Bart? Well, uh, really, it's uh, much the same, but. Uh, Jim Lang's not here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Bart. Just continue on out. <laughs> uh, okay, bachelor number three is an actor you might recognize from the hit film Con Air. Oh. Yes, uh, he wanted to play the part of your date, uh, but uh, he didn't do that. So give a hello to Steve Easton. Hey, Steve. Uh, thank you, Steve. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Well... Here's the guy. You ready? Uh, yeah. I'm All right. Ready. This is the man you've been waiting to meet. He's a business consultant from Aurora, Illinois. He loves cruising on the internet. And it's time to meet Al Conahan. Hey, Al. <laughs> Al had all his great answers. Boy, man. Now, let me ask you something. Can you type as fast as you can talk? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, we have a great date planned for you guys. I hope you like, like Lake Tahoe because that's where you're going to go. Kramer, tell them about it. 
That's right, you're off to experience the mountain empire of Caesars Tahoe. You'll enjoy the finest in dining, gaming, and entertainment. Plus, a health club and year-round sporting activities will keep you on the go. Make sure to save time to enjoy the breathtaking views of beautiful Lake Tahoe. Good luck and back to you, Chuck. Thank you, Kramer. Hope you enjoy your date at the lake. Why don't you go backstage here, get to know each other a little bit better, and uh, we'll see you later on in the show. In the meantime, we're going to change things up a little bit. We're coming on the dating game. I hope you had a great time. Hope you have a great date. Thank you for joining us. I hope all your dates are good ones tonight. Let's have a big dating game kiss and...